Hello, I'm Sieg Soto. Welcome to my channel. Today is Sample Saturday number two. And today I have a sample that I was sent by Scott from Captain's Choice. It's the Sandalwood, Captain's Choice Sandalwood Shaving Cream. It was sent to me as a free gift when I got the Obsidian Ball that I'm using today. I'm also using this APJ Co. with a 30mm cashmere knot in it. My pre-shave today was this, the Barbasol 1919, that Rusty very kindly sent to me. Thank you, Rusty. The razor for today finally arrived. 70 days it took for it to get here. Uh, it lay in the Copenhagen airport then for 20 something days and then it was returned to America and then it was there for another 10 days and then it cut back and then it finally got here yesterday. So 70 days it took it to come here. Um, so I ordered this two weeks before I ordered the Tradera that I got uh, after just 16 day, days wait. So I've had the Tradera for a month when I got this, even though I ordered the Tradera uh, two weeks after this. In this, I have my favorite blade, the Iridium, uh, the Visimed Super Iridium. Um, yes, and that's about it. Let's get this party started. So the Blackland Black Birch. I got it, I opted for the 101 millimeter handle. Uh, the polished version, as you might have seen in the thumbnail. It's listed as a 7 out of 10 in aggression on their side and as 118 grams. Or was it 116? On my drug dealer scale, or gem, precious gemstone scale, it said 108. So it's somewhere in between, I think. So, okay. The scent on this is sandalwood, but it has a very deep, uh, um, with this, a very deep woody scent to it too. Almost, I would say, mahogany. I'm not sure I have my sense correct, but if I remember correctly, the deepest wooded scent is, I think, mahogany. Well, the very deep ones I've smelled. This smells like mahogany. I would say. So, a very deep sandalwood. Not a sweet one, not a cedar woody one. This is deep. It's almost so deep that you can, you know, imagine some tobacco. Some, I know, maybe even a pipe tobacco. So I didn't look up the notes for this. I never do. But I know that this is a sandwich because it says so on the quarter ounce uh, quarter ounce sample that Scott from Captain's Choice sent me along with eight others. You may have seen the unboxing. Okay, so Blackland Blackbirds machined. This is interesting for me because everybody seems to love this razor. And I have an issue with it that I felt when I loaded it. And I will be returning to that if I don't forget. The corners of the base plate is my issue. They are pointy and sharp. Maybe someone said that in their review already. But these corners here, when you go this way, you can actually cut yourself. Not this way, but when you go this way or this way. They're very, very sharp. So. Mm. 
not much some blade feel. It's like the Barbasol. It's blocking a little for the for the glide. You hear that? So why didn't I go for the polished one? When I have the vector and a super polished version and the Sedura In a polished version. Well, it was something that Jim Will Shave said. And I believe Chris from CB Shave said when you have a little tool marks inside it, it's almost like you have a special one because no one has the same tool marks inside it. So kind of like almost like having a, a serial number oh I caught myself makes it unique all the polished ones look alike but this one doesn't so a seven a seven out of ten in aggression well, <laughs> my neck would say that that's true. Right here, I didn't feel that. But the rest of the face, as always down here, lots of stubble up here, stubble. So we need a second pass. No skipping the second pass. So there's no way that this is as efficient as the R41, either the chrome one that I have, or the R102 with the white handle, or the R41GS. This soap feels extremely slick and very thick. Maybe I should have added a little more water to it. This is my first Captain, Captain's Choice Cream. First, oh well, it's the first I use. As you know from the unboxing, Scott sent me nine to try. This is the first one. So do you hear that? I like the almost sharp edges here on the handle. They are not cut your fingers sharp, but they are definitely there to help you hold this razor. Definitely some blade feel. The original plan was to use this in the Tradura shave. The all English, oh, sorry, the all American shave. But it hadn't arrived. So. What do you do? Well, you adapt. 
improvise, adapt, overcome. That's what we do. And enjoy. I've heard people saying how they feel that this is much smoother, smoother than the dart. I didn't manage to get a hold of the dart. So I wouldn't know. But I would say even though this is not a polished racer, it's very smooth. And I like I like the way that I can feel the blade cutting. I can feel everything. It's being removed and still I'm not concerned about this not being smooth and blade feel and stuff like that. So don't let the 7 out of 10 aggression uh, that it says on the home page. Don't let that, you know, don't let that, you know, scare you. As it kind of did me. I waited a long time to get this because I was afraid. That 7 out of 10 would be too much for my skin to handle. very smooth and this being a stainless steel razor 303 stainless steel razor the mere weight of this will help you so all you need to do is steer And that's kind of how I like it. If you have been watching my channel, you know. So I am, I ha have to say, very honored and very humbled that I have passed 3000 subscribers. It is, it's so humbling. I'm so honored. I'm gobsmacked. I don't know. I don't have the words to describe my gratitude. Really. The captain's in the house. So you know what to do. Please be seated. Fasten your seatbelt. Close your eyes and wash your face with the face club. This is an extremely sleek soap. I don't think I, I needed the barber's all. But I was worried about the 7 out of 10 aggression on the razor. Even though people say, don't be. I was. Couldn't help myself. You know, what happens, happens on my channel. So. Okay, so this was a sandal woody scent, even though it was more mahogany-ish to me. So there can only be one aftershave for me, the Purazzo Red Aftershave Lotion. This is my favorite Purazzo scent. I love. Well, people might argue that the green one it's better. Well, the green one is good. But for me, this is the best. No question about it whatsoever. Okay, and I have a new cream in. I'm not using the Parasso aftershave balm, the red one, even though I have it. Even though I have it. Not many people actually realize that it's it's here. It exists. I have another one. It's the Cerui. 
uh, nourishing cream with the hyaluronic hyaluronic acid and the three essential ceramides and people that are skilled into what your face needs and what is the best for your face have advised me on my channel try to use this because I've said on many occasions that I need to take care of my skin in the winter and this winter is upon us here in Greenland plenty of snow plenty of frost so this is the cream there is a lotion that I just got in today I haven't opened it and I haven't tried it so I'll just you know settle so today I used the Blackbird machined 303 with the 101 uh, millim the 101 millimeter handle with the Vismit blade in it I used the AP Shave Co white uh, cashmere knot I used the obsidian captain's choice cup of ball and the sample soap for this sa sample Saturday number two was this captain's choice sample watch the aftershave is it called lotion? maybe it is was the Verasso Red and the cream was the Cero Moisturizing Cream that I found on eBay so I had shipped here to Greenland so that's it like, subscribe, hit the bell and share and remember why we do this we do this because we are not obsessed we are we are dedicated. Six Solo, signing out.